Hi everyone and welcome to our Monday Assembly. Really, really excited to talk to you today because I'm going to discuss something with you that I care a lot about. This week, for those of you that don't know, it is Children's Mental Health Week. We do try to focus on that a little bit at Aberdour and try and help out as much as we can with our linked PAL tutors, our form tutors, and our open door sessions where you can come and speak to myself and Mrs Slater. What we're focusing on this week is really gearing towards a really lovely day we're going to have on Thursday with a couple of different activities and I'm going to explain them soon to you all. First of all, I want to ask you the question about what you think is mental health. During this, at any time you want to pause the video, rewind a little bit, or write things down, chat to your families, please feel free. I'll chuck a few questions at you, um, hopefully to spark a bit of conversation. So what I'm going to ask you first is what do you think is mental health? Have a quick chat. Now, my description of mental health is the ability to have a quality lifestyle in doing all the things you'd normally do day to day. Now, there are different areas of mental health. Some of them can be positive and some of them can be negative. What I would like you to do now is pause the video if you can and try and have a chat or write down what you think are positive emotions linked to your mental health and what are negative emotions linked to your mental health. Because it's really important that we can identify between the two. Go do that. Good job, everyone. Now, some of the things I came up for, I'm not going to give you loads. For positive mental health can be your happiness, can be whether you are relaxed and can be whether you're feeling confident about something you are doing. Negative emotions linked with mental health can be feeling stressed, maybe little being a little bit anxious or even nervousness around a situation. So what we're going to do is we're sort of going to try and understand when these things can happen. Now for us at the moment, we might feel positive mental health aspects of our life quite regularly. We're very fortunate and for a lot of us, we're in a quite a nice situation. We're in warm homes, we have a roof over our heads, we have a warm bed to get into and we have some food. However, sometimes those negative emotions can creep in and we can get a little bit down on ourselves. One of those reasons is because we're not able to express ourselves fully. We're not seeing our friends as much. We're not able to run around in playgrounds. The weather is stopping that, but also that COVID-19 as well. We're not able to see our family as often. And I know if you're like me, family is very important. I've missed out on going to see my twin brother and my nieces. I've missed birthdays. I missed my grandma's 94th birthday, all because of this. And it does make you sad sometimes. The theme for Children's Mental Health Week is express yourself. And that is what we're going to be doing on Thursday. Self-expression is just a great way to relieve stress because it mainly involves things that you love doing and it involves people that you want to go and see. When you go and see your friends, your family, when you go and do a sport, when you get to ride a bike, when you get to go to an art club out of school or a drama club, all those moments are times for you to step into your comfortable zone and go and do something that you love doing. And we're going to give you some opportunities for that on Thursday. We are going to have an express yourself session in your form groups. That's going to be like a show and tell um, time where you can try and find an object, a piece of clothing within your house that you think really describes you as a person. We are going to have a live yoga session 
with Mrs. Lucas. She's absolutely buzzing to show you some ways that you can relax. Yoga is all about centering your mind, controlling your breathing and having a really good stretch and move. And lastly, we're going to have what we've called a creative afternoon. And this is the perfect opportunity to express yourself. Following on from the letter you received on Friday, there was loads of options that you could try to pick from which will enable you to express yourself. It could be a portrait, it could be a baking a cake, it could be making a picture, it could be making an eye movie on films about do you doing something that you love. You can go and create an independent piece of work that you'll get to show everyone on Thursday afternoon. If you don't quite get it finished, that's okay. We'll hopefully get all the pieces of work together to have a fantastic set of videos. We're hoping that there is something within them that you really, really enjoy doing. This is a chance for you to let your mind go free and go and do whatever you feel shows you off in the best possible light. Abadawa, this week, what I really want you to do is take some time for yourself, okay? In those down times between lessons, at the end of the school day, relax. Don't panic about your work. You need to understand we're all on your side. If you communicate effectively with your parents and with us about how you're feeling, we will be here to help you. The whole school is here to help you get through anything or any worries. If you need any help or support, please feel free to contact me. I'm always here to lend a listening ear. Otherwise, guys, really enjoy your week. I look forward to seeing you on Thursday morning where I'll give you a little bit more detail about what you're going to do for the day. Remember, relax, express yourself this week and have some great fun. See you later, everyone.